Hi everyone, this is The Whip, relocated in Melbourne. Uh, set up the new system uh, with some crucial ballistics. DDR1600, DDR3 on the 790i XFX, uh, 790i Ultra uh, chipset on the motherboard. Um, I thought I'd just run through the BIOS settings and show you what I've gotten to with uh, Quad 3.8 on air cooling. Still got the Ultra 120. Um, but now with the Q9450 CPU. So the changes from the last one are the CPU and the RAM. Everything else is pretty much the same. Still got the GFX, uh, sorry, the XFX uh, 9800GX2 uh, graphics card. Uh, two Raptor X's running in RAID, or one Raptor X, one Raptor, but they're the, uh, they're the 150s. Um, just to go through the settings for you, uh, just as a reference for anybody, look, this isn't necessarily something everyone should just set their computer to, as I've been reminded of on a couple of recent forums where I've uh, disregarded a little bit the fact that people should uh, to know what they're doing and do it in increments, bit, bit by bit, to get there if you're trying. Now, just to give you a reference point, as I said, Okay, as you can see the RAM is linked and it's in sync mode which uh, tends to give it better performance than if, it, than if it's unlinked uh, at exactly the same type settings. Uh, the P1, P2 enabled. Uh, you've got to play, play, doing your overclock initially, do all that on auto and then later on see what you can get it stable at at P1, P2 enabled. DDR 1900 running this lovely crucial ballistics at 88824 at 2T settings. Haven't played with the sub timings at all yet. That will come. Okay, CPU configuration, just your execute, execute disable bit on. I did note, I did show you, but I didn't note. Take, turn all your spectrum settings here off if you're doing your overclock. That's what voltages I'm running at. Now note, people talk about me having on some forums the uh, CPU voltage up, when, especially when I showed you the last uh, Q6600 vid. Um, there's a V drop on this board, not V droop, I'm talking V drop. Not, this is something from BIOS to, to running in OS. Uh, v droop is what you get under load in, in running conditions. So. Um, uh, locking in the CPU front side bus to 1.3 was better. If it went up to 1.35, it, it uh, lost some stability. The memory setting at 1.9, which is what it's supposed to run um, at DDR1600, so to get to 1900 is nice, but it, it will run at DDR1600 at 7724, I think it was, or, or it might have been 21. Um, at that same voltage, but 88824 at, one, at 1900 I'm pretty happy with. As you can see, 1.4 and 1.5 on the volts there. The automatic GTLs get me there fine at uh, minus, minus 80 and minus 100. To continue, the CPU configuration is left at just execute disable bit. Just showing your just showing you all this so that you know you've got a reference point if um, if uh, you're wondering where you should be at there well then um, you can have a bit of a look uh, I've already done that, what am I doing? Now, just everything else so that you can you can you know if you're wondering if something else is stuffing up your overclock you can just sort of refer and give a squeeze J Micron controller off, DVD drive plugged into it, doesn't burn so I don't use it at all and I plug into a normal SATA for that one. Uh, the FDC controller uh, disabled as well, anyway you can see all that.
nothing out of the normal there. Now, any more help you need, just come over to blazingpc.com and get some help over there. Um, I'm, I run under the name The Whip, T H E space W I P, as in work in progress. Um, look, everyone over there is a really great bunch of people. Uh, the way the site works, you've got its lasher and crash that are the um, owners of the site. Um, uh, you'll see their names in orange. Uh, great people all around over there. The one names in red are the super mods and the green ones are the mods. Uh, all of them very helpful people. Uh, can't go wrong. A um, couple of Aussies like me over there, Toucan, Z67, uh, a couple others. Just and there's, all, there's, a, there's a plethora of helpful people. The thing is, no one will give you advice that's not, um, that they don't really, that they won't say, oh, I know what I'm talking about, and they don't. People say, suggest, suggest things to you. They don't categorically state things if, if they're not 100% sure themselves, which really does help you when you, you're trying to nut out all the different advice that's out there. Um, feel free to go to all forums and check stuff out just uh, I just suggest to you that uh, uh, these guys really will give you some great advice and, and take it on board um, I believe it is the elite of overclocking I've recently been to other forums and uh, sort of given it I haven't been elsewhere for a while and I've given advice like I would at blazing PC or uh, said stuff like I would at blazing PC not not necessarily just advice but uh, I felt like Maybe some of it was taken out of out of context, or maybe I didn't explain myself well enough. Um, didn't say, uh, didn't make it as clear as I should that to take things in steps and increments. Uh, but uh, just take into account that over there you'll get advice that says push your stuff harder. Um, a lot of people, you know, really want to get the absolute last couple of percent out of their rig over there. Uh, but you couldn't ask for a better bunch of people who know what they're talking about. Um, always go in steps, check temperatures, monitor your system, don't do anything dangerous from your end uh, unless you're really sure that you know what you're doing. Uh, always ask questions. No question's a stupid question. Uh, post a thread over there, become a member, get to know the guys, uh, you, you'll, you'll know that you're getting good advice. Uh, if you don't mind, put me in as in the referrer box when you sign up as the whip, and uh, uh, certainly send me a personal message saying that you, you came across from, from the vid. I'd be interested to know how many do, and uh, I'll bend over backwards to help wherever I can. Uh, BlazingPC.com, really the best place to go, and uh, I'd love to see as many of you come over there and become members as, as possible. Uh, ho hopefully, this gives you a good reference point to. Push your Q9450 as far as you can. Um, uh, I still got it to the same sort of an overclock with DDR1333 RAM in there, uh, but obviously better results having the bandwidth on the on the RAM. Uh, I hope to see you all come over to Blazing PC soon. Post your comments here. Um, I'll still be referring back to to check on the vid. Good on you. Cheers.